Uh, yes, my question is, uh, could you explain, have the panel to explain what is the function of the body, soul, and spirit here on earth, and what is their function in the spiritual realm? What is the function of the body, soul, and spirit here on earth, and what is their function in the spiritual realm? Pastor Thornton. Well, remember, we are trichotomy. Um, we're spirit. We have a soul. We live in the body. Um, the spirit has three components to it, and uh, so does the soul. Um, and we're to uh, do the assignment. What gives us authority in the earth is not just the word of God, but our body. Uh, anything that doesn't have a body in this realm is here illegally. That's why we cast out devils, because they are here uh, illegally. But after we leave, we'll be in his presence, and we will worship him all. All, all, and there will be no uh, night there, only day. So uh, our purpose here is to, as I say, clean up what the angels messed up. Pastor Maui. Yes, uh, I, I love that answer, dear brother. Um, uh, I understand it this way, and let me, uh, I hope this is helpful, you, helpful to you, that you are a spirit, you, you have a soul, and you live in a body. So as, uh, as you have heard, that we are uh, beings that have uh, uh, three parts to a spirit, soul, and body. Again, um, uh, you are a spirit. That's, that's the real you. Uh, you. You have a soul and you live in the body. Now your spirit is the part of you that is, uh, for the lack of a better term, is sort of made out of the same substance God is made of. Jesus said, God is a spirit, and those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth, um, and uh, so that y your spirit is that, is that part of you that is designed specifically to connect and fellowship with God. Uh, your soul is that thing that your spirit has, which is sort of the seat of your emotions and your feelings, uh, and, uh, and your body is, is, is your body. Amen. Pastor Farina. Well, the other part of the question was how does it relate to, this, to where we are now and in the future? Well, the body obviously is your earth suit. You need that to function here. The spirit part is the part that's eternal, that, that lives forever, has no ending. And, and that's the part that's the real you that will spend eternity in one place or another, heaven or, or, or in hell. Praise the Lord. I'll just give you two texts. Uh, uh, Matthew, where it talks about the prayer and, and the Lord was instructing the disciples. It says, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, uh, that kingdom come, that will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So we need the spirit, souls, and body on earth, as the panel has already stated, to do the work of God. And if you look at 1 Corinthians 15, the composition of this body will change. It will no longer be physical, it will be terrestrial or celestial. And that is so we can do the work in total spiritual realm. So there is a purpose for the change in composition. Thank you so much for that question.